Hey everyone, welcome to Post to Post. Thanks for clicking on this video. I want to take a couple of minutes and talk to you about some of the annoying things about watching hockey as a viewer. It isn't really like hockey specific. All sports have their annoyances. It's not just hockey. Football definitely does. Baseball definitely does. But in the NHL, there are absolutely some specific things that drive me personally just crazy. I hate them and I want to talk about them in this video. Now, obviously, some of these things aren't going to mean they aren't going to matter to anyone out there. Like it's just a, this is a Neil thing, not a not a you thing. Okay, but I would because of that, I would love to know maybe some of the ones that you or some things you find annoying in the about watching the NHL as a viewer down below in the comment section after the video. If it didn't make a, if it's not on my list, would love to hear from you down below. So I've got five for you. We're gonna go through them one at a time. And let's start off with number one, which is one of the most annoying things to me. And I have them just off here on my left on my screen. So I'm gonna be looking this way a little bit. So number one, camera cut to close headshot of the goalie just as a scrum or fight is breaking out. This is almost certainly number one. And these aren't in any particular order, but this is a this is a big one. This might be number one. It drives me nuts. And I think the NHL does this on purpose to not show violence, but you know, there's there's a save, the goalie covers it, maybe there's a stick that kind of pokes in, someone gets a little bit aggressive trying to protect their goalie, maybe they're, they drag him away or they give him some business, you know, drop the mitts a little bit, and we don't see it because the TV stations or the, you know, the broadcasters or whatever in the truck, they've got this predetermined shot, hey, you know, when the whistle goes, make sure we get a close-up of the goalie, we want to see him drinking some water, I don't need to see that. And I don't need to see a close up of the goalie's head, regardless if he's drinking water, regardless of what's going on in the ice. I just don't need to see it. I want to see what's going on in the ice globally. Show me everything. Do not give me a preemptive cut to the goalie, regardless if there's a scrum or not. Just, I just, I don't care, okay? I want to see what's going on on the ice. And a lot of times there are scrums. And if one is going on, if there's a fight, I want to see that. Who's going to dance, okay? Who's, who's tussling? Who's having words? Show me that. And then it goes to commercial and I got to find it when I come back, what happened? I got to watch the replay, but then the puck's going to drop soon. So they only show a short replay. It just drives me nuts. So I, I hate the fact that broadcasters do that. I think it's stupid and I'm, it would even be more disappointed if the NHL was responsible for that by, uh, by design. Number two, play by play announcers tells us useless stats uh, uh, during a play versus calling the play. This also drives me nuts. Gord Miller used to be terrible for this. I actually really like Gord Miller now. He's, he's kind of come around a little bit, but Gord Miller was like, dad and I called him Gord Stats Miller because he'll he'll be calling to play and then all of a sudden he'll just break the call to play and he'll tell us a stat about a player. Oh, you know, the last time that this guy scored on a Tuesday was 1961 and he, you know, he, he had Cheerios for breakfast. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I know that year is, doesn't make sense, but that's the first year that came to my mind for some reason. But just like, I don't need to know when the last person that this player scored on a Tuesday was or any other insignificant stat. It just, it does nothing for me. Please just call the play. That, that's really all I want. Number three, when commentators say half boards, this is a big gripe of mine. Stop calling them half boards and so many i'm like almost all of the broadcasters do it now i even have some friends of mine who i'm sure i'm looking at you audi who, who say half boards they're not half boards they've never been higher okay they're just boards <laughs> stop calling them half boards they're just boards <laughs> that's that's a neil thing though i don't think that bothers a lot of people that's just that's a that's a me problem really not a not a you problem you probably don't care about that number four when commentators say active stick or active feet or similarly a sentence like the Nashville Predators activated their D on a power play as if their defensemen were Pokemon. I just, I don't know why it bugs me, but it's just this whole activate term. Like they're not, like they weren't doing anything with their stick or with their feet or in general before that they were activated. And then now that they're activated, they're like, oh, oh, he wasn't doing anything, but now he's doing something. He's been activated like a, like a transformer or something. I just, it's another one of those terms. I just, I don't know why. It just drives me nuts. Uh, and then the last one here, uh, linesmen who think they are gods when dropping the puck, taking forever, kicking people out, et cetera, just doing whatever. So they'll, you know, they'll be going to drop the puck and someone, someone sneezes the wrong way or something like that and be like, okay, you're out. Just drop the puck. I don't, like, it can't be that. It has to be on the linesman to just like, there are really good linesmen and there are really, really bad linesmen. It has to be on the linesman to, to kind of drop that ego and just drop the puck. The viewer doesn't care. The viewer just wants you to drop the puck. I don't care if someone's got to skate the wrong way a little bit or the stick's in the wrong position by a, a, a micromillimeter. Just drop the puck, okay? Stop delaying the game. So those are quick five annoyances from me. 
I'm sure some of those don't apply to you. Uh, and some of you out there, none of those will apply to you. This is a personal list. Uh, there's nothing right about my list. There's nothing wrong about my list either. It's a personal opinion. So I'd love to know your pers personal opinion down below. If you've got five of your own that weren't any of mine, uh, if you've got one that you want to add to my list, please let me know down below in the comment section. What as a viewer annoys you about watching hockey, maybe in person or on TV, it doesn't really matter. We'd love to hear from you down below. If you did enjoy this conversation and if you're new and you wanna see more conversations like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. If you did enjoy this video and you agree with me on some of these, hit the like button. I'll talk to you guys real soon. Adios.